Welcome to Bopola TV. My name is Cairo. Together with my friends Farid, Shahid, and Achab, we will Hello. be going through last weekend's Premier League uh, fixtures involving three of our favorite teams. But before that, uh, if you are interested in watching any specific section of this video, uh, head down to the details below for the time codes. So first up, we've got Arsenal, bullied by Brentford, Ooh. losing 2-0. <laughs> Questionable lineup, you have to say. So Achab, how do you feel? Uh, it was a poor performance from Arsenal uh, since we are going against Brentford. Uh, we have so many players injured uh, for the first match and even the match after after this against Chelsea against City. So we can see our defensive lineup memang like teruk gila. We really need players, uh, fit players to to be in the first the first 11 ah so yang macam hari tu punya match aku rasa ada a few factors yang sebabkan Arsenal very pressure main dekat Brentford ah satu sebab it's an away game uh, satu uh, back line uh, especially pelah right back Chambers a bit problematic macam yeah exactly malu buruk gila uh, and then sebab fans ah aku rasa pressure daripada fans uh, got Arsenal in that game ah so uh, aku buat tak boleh komen banyak what aku harap Ateta boleh beli dia player sebab death untuk Arsenal memang in this critical times ah memang boleh nampak teruk and Ateta macam dah tak ada option lain lah with the players that they have so yeah, memang still, memang memang kena bully gila dengan Brentford itu memang kena boleh ada gila pressure Betul. Apa kau rasa dengan uh, yang korang punya new signing, Ben White? Uh, I have this stat. Ben White out of all the back lines. Ben White uh, beaten, dribbled past or you say beaten lah hmm. six times. Okay. Six times eh? Six times. It's actually the most out of all the, the yang belakang punya back line for orang tu. Yep. So what do you I, think? I, ben White punya performance? It's kalau ikut by that stats, it's maybe bad, but maybe they're still getting used to be playing with Arsenal lah kot. Since aku tak kisah sebab dia baru masuk, so okay to critic with the price that we we have paid for him. Tapi aku rasa maybe chemistry belum ada lagi. And with that bad line, aku rasa still aku rasa the current players yang patut support dia at the bad line tu yang a bit problematic ah and pressure, very high pressure daripada Brentford so aku rasa that's why dia kena dribble pass quite bad lah Betul? Hmm. So, aku rasa <sighs> yeah. dia dalam central, central mm-hmm. midfield dia biasa lah central midfield dia Betul, lah satu ya, tu ya, kau rasa kalau kalau kan Arteta main uh, Bellerin ke? Would it have helped? Yeah, Sebab I, at I, least I dia boleh keep up with the pace dengan Kano? Ya, 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 betul, betul Aku rasa Chambers masa even that, that clear bola pun macam like teruk gila dia clearance So aku memang Yeah the whole game he 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 didn't really do that he much He didn't really perform lah. Dia memang yeah. tak boleh Doesn't hmm. feel lah dengan Arsenal punya pressure play kot aku rasa Yeah true What about the second goal yang yang bila dia orang Let's say it's not a corner Actually it's from a throw in kan uh, Even daripada throw in yeah, pun Ah uh, yang tu yang tu yang tu aku rasa it was a silly mistake lah daripada like pasal even Ben White pun tak predict that ball go over. Nah, it, it was it was a fall I think because hmm. he the whole uh, keeper tu tak bagi dia move kan. It was nah, a fall. Yeah. But actually it's not a fall sebab dia bukan hold dia macam keeper tu kat situ je. Bro, bro no bro if you look closely bro he actually pegang keeper tu from moving. That's why Leno marah lepas tu dia cakap dia macam uh, appeal dekat hmm. uh, ref tu. But 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 okay. in that in that situation with that ball, memang aku rasa it's a bit chaos lah. It's a bit chaos lah. But but dia betul betul bola tu betul betul like literally align dengan macam goal hmm. dekat gila. So siapa yang, yang que- dapat that ball? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yang question dia betul kenapa so Leno lah. kenapa hmm. Leno tak tolak play ah uh, player tu and then pergi ke bola tu one more benda yang patut dia buat lah. Hmm. Makan. Yeah. Dia pun yeah, macam ha, that, macam that, that situation, no one's predict bola tu siapa yang dapat dia. Uh, so, lah. first ball, which really <coughs> orang, clear or score. Dia orang tak patut bagi bola tu bounce kat dalam kotak penalti yeah, tu. Yeah, um, bounce, at the first place, yeah. 
Because semua orang uh, macam tak, tak tahu nak buat apa dengan bola tu Bila bola tu datang semua orang macam okay yeah. <laughs> that, that was lucky goal lah untuk sebab hmm. It was Brentford yang dapat in front of the goal Tapi oh, yang yeah. the first the first goal tu memang totally It was Chambers punya fault lah untuk aku Yeah, so, so any any positives you can take daripada the game tu? Oh, positive. At least lah, some positive. Oh, positive lah, aku still aku still suka where uh, Smith Rowe plays lah. Smith Rowe macam uh, bagi positif kat depan right? lah. Untuk aku, depan hmm. doesn't really have a problem kot in that game. Except for kita orang tak ada central striker lah. Striker, that yeah. Game. That's a big yes, problem lah. Balogan can really do it. Balogan. Hmm. Yeah. Arsenal tak ada kreatif, kreatif midfielder lah. You all don't have the place macam Ozil lah. Actually, in that game, that time. Gabriel dengan, apa ni, apa ni, Gabi dengan uh, Smith Rowe dah perform dah. Instead of jaga in that hmm. attacking midfielder punya role. Hmm. Like, dia orang buka like, kanan, kiri, kanan, hmm. kanan, 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 Okay, next okay. we go to Manchester United, 5-1 winners okay. against Leeds. So what do you think of Paul Pogba and Bruno Fernandes? Were they brilliant? Yeah, I mean definitely. Um, or I, I think you can clearly tell Pogba, you know, like, you know uh, backlash against Pogba and then all the fans check up, oh, we want him to leave. I think the, personally, the United fans that want Pogba to leave, you all need help because we really need him. <laughs> yeah. He gave yeah, his policies. So you can see the potential. I mean, we all know the potential is there, but we just have to, I guess, play him in the right spot and give him the move, the right movements, the freedom to move, to actually, I guess, unlock his full abilities. But yeah, I think the game was solid. Um, obviously, there are always room for improvements. Um, of course, the the one yang paling perform is Dola, Bruno, um, uh, Pogba. I think Lindelof played really well. I think maybe this is because he's realized that he's, uh, main spot as a cent- uh, as a right center back is uh, kind of I mean kind of not there like anymore the because of Varane. Yeah, yeah, threatened. Yeah, yeah, threat, then, yeah that was what I was looking yeah. for because of Varane. So yeah, I think we we saw that with uh, Shaw when when we signed um, Alex. Uh, tell us, yeah, true, true. So we saw that see. with Shaw. Yeah. So, so this so these are the comp- uh, healthy competitions I say that we actually need in the team. Before this, we had no one in our, uh, I guess, in our in our bench, you know, to actually threaten or to improve our current main eleven. So I think this is a good step forward, lah. Mm, but still, yeah. I, I still personally think for the next game onwards, we should start Varane. I mean, he's the one of trophies he win. He's he's a well known centre back, lah. We all he's easily top five, I say, centre backs right now. So he definitely has to start. So that is that, but. Other than that, in terms of performance-wise, uh, James, obviously, uh, since uh, I think my view on James is always going to be the same for now. Like, even when even in the previous episode, I said the problem with James is that he lacks decision-making. We clearly saw that in the game, like his decision-making to shoot. And sometimes his shooting can be really fast as well. Like, he can't shoot. I guess his, his the ability is not there yet. And obviously, the critical thinking, the decision-making, the simple passes, He's just not there yet. I think that is something he needs to improve over time. Give uh, when you compare it to, I mean, just look at how uh, Greenwood played and how James played. You can see the stark difference, you know, between these two. Yeah. Uh, so would you, that, Sancho Greenwood, over, hmm? uh, would you start yeah, Sancho definitely. over James in the next game? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, because, because first of all, we paid, a, we, we paid a hefty price for him. We, first of all, we, we paid a hefty price for him. Secondly. I mean, Sancho has been starting for Dortmund for a long time. He's been mm. their uh, top player, uh, Dortmund's top player for a while. So, he, in terms of abilities one can perform, Sancho is definitely up there compared to James. Yeah, so, I agree. Yeah. Probably we should start Sancho against uh, Southampton lah in the next game, mm. I think. Okay. Mm. But, I think um, the, but I think, sorry, just to add on, just to add on a bit, but yeah. I think the goals... Uh, the goal from Leeds was amazing, lah. That was something else. But that yeah, could have, we could have done prevented. better. They, they yeah, could have closed. Yeah, yeah. We could have prevented. Yeah, you you can clearly tell. Like, I mean, what 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 was Fred doing? He was just watching the ball. I think that is something that they need to improve. Like, it could have easily been a five five nil game. Yeah, technically, yeah, it was a nice goal by Eling. Um, but we could have done better by closing down the player. Yeah, um, definitely. 
Yeah, so now we go to a solid Chelsea side who put away Crystal Palace 3-0. So, <laughs> nice clean sheet, right? Yeah, 3-0 from Chelsea. Great play for... Uh, great tactic from Tuchel and uh, great free kick from Alonso also. Top beans. Uh, like I said mm-hmm. before, Alonso shine when he play attacking more than he cannot defend that well. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he's a bit slow. But when attack, he yeah. can he perform when attack when uh, when Tuchel play attacking uh, tactic. And uh, perfect position for him. And uh, the second goal was from uh, Christian Pulisic. Uh, a bit, a bit lucky there. But overall, Pulisic, the uh, opinion game tak consistent lah. Mm-hmm. I rasa uh, dia dengan winner for that game is a bit uh, meh. Tak berapa shine okay, sangat. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the third goal from Trevor Chaloba was superb. Uh, I think man of the match is memang patut uh, Chaloba. Mm-hmm. What, oh, what yeah. Game? Going to Chaloba, I was about to ask. So now, yeah. now dia punya pairing dekat belakang because Chaloba did great. Uh, especially dia punya yeah. first uh, debut game kan? Dia punya uh, debut yeah. game in the Premier League. So sekarang uh-huh. dia nampak dia dah berapa games dia main Chaloba. He keeps playing Chaloba, Chaloba over Thiago Silva. And Kurt Zuma. Yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, is he is he climbing the packing order, or is he still uh, uh, starting I, to become okay, actually, stable? Actually, he's trying very hard to impress Tuchel since the preseason games, mm-hmm. and then he's the one who came early in the training and tried to impress Tuchel. And uh, from preseason, and he picked uh, Tuchel picked him every game for preseason, and also the Super Cup instead of Thiago Silva. Uh, yeah. That shows. Uh, that shows that Tuchel believe in him, and then give him opportunity for the his uh, debut game in EPL. And solid play, really, really. Congratulations to him. Very solid play for him. And then he deserves to play more games after this. Uh, yeah, Mema, Mema, every like uh, every fan, manager, player happy for him when he scored that goal. Right? Yeah, he, he yeah. even was a bit emotional on the field, kind of. Yeah, yeah, he, he really yeah. cried. Yeah, he yeah. really cried. Yeah, I think. And then, okay. okay. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> now, uh, Mo Salah doing what Mo Salah did, helping Liverpool to win 3 0. Mo Salah has scored, I think, on, wow. in the past five seasons, has scored in the first Premier League opening game every time, time kan? Yeah, yeah opening yeah. game. So, what do you think of him? It's a record, right? It's a record, right? Oh. Ah, it's, it's a record. Yeah, it's a record, yeah. Uh, no, it's, a, it's an impressive record. Best winger no, like, I think for me, all right. time. All time, no lah. Like, I think that's a bit of an exaggeration. I no, think like, he's yeah. good lah. Like. He's good. He's, he, he is definitely yeah. out there lah. Like. I mean, all he's, time? He's, he's consistent lah. Like. He's consistent lah. Uh, no, no. All we, time yeah, in, EPL, in EPL. In EPL, I think. Because I... Yeah, I mean, right? Cuba kau name uh, another one winger that score consistently macam uh, macam dia. Even Hazard, even Hazard pun tak boleh score. True, like, true, true. Macam mana yeah, dia I, score? Five games in yeah, yeah. every opening yeah, game. Yeah, it's crazy, man. To have that, that consistency. Yeah, and he consistently gives like 20 goals a season. Oh, but it's true, it's true. Uh, it's hard it's, it's it's for United fans yeah. to admit lah because he's a Liverpool player. But I mean, true be told, he is lah. He is good lah. He is actually a really good player lah. No, I, so memang, I, memang I, I admire Hazard very much. Memang dribble dia apa semua bagus. But the, the way, dia tak boleh score as much as Salah. Memang every every season consistent score. So we have to give it to him. True, true. Yeah. So I think Salah did very well as usual. Um, so in terms of comparison, Salah and Mane, which one do you think mm. is, is better? Uh, Salah, 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 Salah. I think right now Salah, Salah, Salah definitely. Salah, yeah, yeah, Salah. Yeah. My pick is what well, my pick would be Salah as well. I think because, he has more uh, impact towards the team compared to Mane. Mane, yes. true, um, yeah, it's not consistent. Uh, yeah, because even when you no, watch like, the game, the way Salah dribbles, he they must make the defender must have. They nampak Salah datang pun dia rasa takut. Ah, okay. Throw, throw, throw. They must have disturb the formation lah, must have. Okay. Salah yeah, he's like, he's, the, he's a nuisance lah. Basically, he's a nuisance lah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's a nuisance. <laughs> Lagi-lagi, yeah. if kalau korang tengok bila Firmino masuk. When Firmino yeah. dengan Salah punya combo, eh, oh, memang gila lah. Tapi dia yeah. tristam. <coughs> 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 
<laughs> and finally, uh, finally we go to the headliner, Spurs beating City 1-0. Uh, and City making Tanganga look like Prime Maldini. So what do you think of that game? <laughs> what do you think uh, of that game? Overall, I think uh, Man City could do better. But mm-hmm. so to be fair, Spurs was uh, amazing that night. You see bro, every player, village, bro. <laughs> every player show up. Lucas Mora, what a performance! Run, uh, mm-hmm. run every ball. I uh, run, uh, dominate the ball, the midfield area. Very, very good play from them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did well. But uh, City didn't help themselves though. They don't have to do They literally, yeah. I, I think Sterling and Grealish didn't even go past Tanganga. Yeah, they didn't yeah. even make much, much of an impact yeah. for someone who's who's like 100 million. I think, I mean, of course, it's unfair to judge based on the first game, based mm-hmm. on one game. It's unfair for us to judge his price. Lah. But okay, if but in the event that we're judging him based on this one game alone, he's definitely not worth 100 million. Definitely. Yeah, throw, throw, Just throw, based throw, on this throw. one game alone. Yeah, I think he, he might be okay. Is it okay? This this has been bothering me for a while. Is it like did Pep put the lineup just uh, so that they don't win so they could sign Kane so that the board would be you know pushed to sign Kane? Was it mm. a ruse or something? Mm. What do you think? I I don't think so. Uh. Pep Pep plays to win no, every no. game. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But but he think he. he because he benched De Bruyne, bro. He benched uh, De Bruyne. Then he played... Uh, Sapa, who, who was the striker he played? It, it was uh, a weird, yeah. weird combination. Uh, Fernand, Fernand Torres. Oh, Fernand, Fernand Torres. Torres. Yeah, it was yeah. a weird combination. Yeah. Actually, he, he, he got uh, Jesus, Jesus. But he played uh, he plays Fernand, Fernand Torres as striker. Yeah. It's a bit weird, exactly. actually. It's actually very weird, right? It's like, yeah. it's like uh, playing the second team on... Purpose, something like that. Mm, yeah. Because he plays Ake over Stones and... Ah, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, mm-hmm. kind of questionable for me. Mm, yeah, uh, anyway, yeah. so um, City lost. Uh, Spurs okay. won and congratulations yeah. to them. So, let's go. Now we're off to the second topic, which is the predictions. So, we've got the six, uh, six most popular teams, I would say. We we'll won't say big six because Arsenal's in there. Most popular team, I would say. Sorry, I chat. <laughs> uh, most popular team. So Liverpool versus Burnley. Give you a prediction. Just a quick prediction. What do you uh, think? Four right? for, nil for uh, in favor of Liverpool. Liverpool, right? I Salah think I think two nil Liverpool. Mm-hmm. Three nil. Salah had three nil. Oh, I, I, uh, because wow. Salah, I put Salah as my captain as well, so I, I'll say um, 3 nil Liverpool. Uh, that's a bit biased, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get Shahid. I need to get Shahid. My fantasy premier league team is uh, a bit lagging at the moment. Uh. <laughs> so, Man City versus Norwich. This is a, uh, hopefully will be a better game for Man City. Yeah. So, what do you think, Probably Shahid? 2 nil. Probably 2 nil for me. Uh, okay, yeah. Boris. Okay. I think close win just so, uh, one nil for City. Mm, one nil oh, City. Right. One nil, yeah. Mm. Uh, I'll say three nil again. Three nil City because uh, after this week' performance, if it was it really wasn't a ruse for Pep, so I would say City will bounce bounce back three nil after the defeat. Mm. Um, so Southampton versus United. Oh. Uh, United uh, is playing away away game uh, for United. So Harris. Uh, four nil. Oh, oh. Okay. a clean sheet, eh? Four nil with Lindelof or with Baran? Baran. If it's Lindelof, probably four one lah. Four one. No, four two lah. I say. <laughs> I don't know why. I have a strong feeling it's gonna be four two if it's uh, Lindelof playing. Okay. Say. I think three nil to United with current form that they have. Mm. Uh, Bruno two <laughs> goals and maybe one goal from Sancho. Oh, Sancho. Sancho. If he starts. Yeah. 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 If he starts, yeah. Uh, 2-0. I can say it's 2-0. 2-0. United, United. I, I think I'll go with Faris. Uh, I, I think 4-0 United. 4-0 United. Uh, because United was kind of solid. Um, yes, uh, the, the, in the game against Leeds. Yeah, it was just that one 
extremely brilliant goal from Ailing. Uh, Wolves versus Spurs. Spurs play away. Oh. So, what do you think? Nuno against... Nuno mm. against his old okay. team. Mm. Yeah. I think they will lose 1-0. Lose 1-0. <laughs> oh. oh. After, after yeah. they Spurs beat lose. City. Okay. Yeah, that one is hey. a fluke. That was a fluke. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'm not really fluke. I think they play well. Huh? They play well. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I did it. Say uh, I think uh, one nil Spurs. Baku uh, is two nil Spurs. Ah, Sun like yeah. I was. I agree. I think uh, two nil Spurs. Maybe Tanganga will uh, continue becoming Primaldini again. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and finally, the headline game the for headline next week: game. Arsenal versus Chelsea. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, right. This this one kita pergi dekat the one the one yang dah pakai baju Arsenal ni. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? Uh, Arsenal versus Chelsea. Will Balogun uh, score? Balogun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Oba sure. main ke uh, confirm. Uh, if <laughs> illness Abba. kan, illness. Uh, Mana boleh? Illness. Dua orang rasa illness ni. Tu hari tu now dah okay kot rasa. Hmm. Dia jumpa on... nampak Arteta manager lagi dia illness. Ah ya dah, it's either Aku rasa it will be 2-1 kot. So Chelsea aja saya kau menang. This time. Chelsea menang. Ooh. Hmm. This time menang lah. Okay. Uh, Syahid? Uh, I will go Chelsea win 2-0. Uh, Werner and Harvard score. Wow, Ooh. Werner. Wow. I yeah. think yeah. yeah. Werner akan score lagi. Harris? I think Arsenal will score on the first half. So then Arsenal will get excited, and then second half, uh, Chelsea will tear them three, three goals. So it'll be three one for me lah. Okay. Okay. Um, wow. I'm torn, I'm I'm going to go based on form lah. Based on form, Chelsea is pretty solid at back, and Arsenal is pretty dreadful going forward. Mm. So and no chance creation. So I would say three 0 Chelsea. Okay. Yeah, I'll give three 0 mm-hmm. Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, good. So good. yeah. That's all from us. Yes. Um, my name is Cairo. Uh, this is my I'm friends Achim. Farid, Shahid and Achap. So this has been our Game Week 1 review. Um, like and subscribe. See ya. Bye. Bye. Bye.